I am very excited to be bringing you this video today. We are in White Chapel Memorial Park in Troy, Michigan. Just another part of my Michigan series. I was fortunate enough to be able to visit there recently and have several videos coming back. But here in Troy, Michigan, several famous graves in this video. We are going to visit those now. So join me at White Chapel Memorial Park in Troy, Michigan. first grave that we will visit is that of Jack Kevorkian. Those familiar with my channel, I did a long form video on him, but since we're here, this was the first grave that I visited on this tour. We're going to visit him again, and I'll probably be doing some more long form videos on some of those that we visit today, but we are in White Chapel Memorial Park in Troy, Michigan. And so we begin today's journey here at the cemetery gates, and you'll see some nice architecture on our way in, this is what will greet you when you make the arrival to Whitechapel Memorial Park in Troy, Michigan. So I just want to show you some of the grounds and what it looks like here. It's very flat, uh, kind of a departure from what I see here in Kentucky, but so glad to be able to be with you today. And the first grave, as I mentioned there, we're going to visit is the grave of Jack Kevorkian. Now, I did do a previous video on uh, Dr. Kevorkian and his championing of assisted suicide and if you watch that long form video you will see more about his life and about his career and we are showing you the background uh, behind Dr. Kevorkian's grave and we're going to show you the stone here momentarily and you know while we're here there are several notable graves that we wanted to visit and I chose to do this as a, a watch along style so we can just kind of look at the cemetery and stroll through here together and really enjoyed my visit it was um uh, about 30 i would say about 30 minutes or so maybe a little further away a little farther away from where i was staying but so glad to be able to make it out here and i didn't know if i would be able to make it but thank goodness there was uh time and i was able to do so but dr kevorkian is a controversial figure and on my last video that i did about him i heard a lot of uh a lot of opinions one way or the other and uh I'm not in the business on my channel of giving opinions. I just like to tell the history and the stories and, you know, explore why that I visit the, uh, the people that I visit. But Dr. Kevorkian, you can see there. Now, this was a very neat story. There was a, um, it was basically a battle between American and Russian forces. And there is a monument that is actually here in the cemetery dedicated to that battle. And actually there were remains from those uh, American soldiers who died in the battle and they were originally in, in Russia, but they were reinterred here. And you can just see the, uh, the front part of this monument, which is, I mean, it's spectacular. This polar bear, a very imposing figure in the cemetery, but my goodness, just what a history and story. And matter of fact, I may even do a video about this and dig into it a little bit more in the future. But yeah, there are remains of American soldiers who lost their lives uh, in Russia on this battle. So yeah, I think that would be good. I would love to explore the battle a little bit more, but I'm going to go ahead and pan around here a little bit and show you what's behind this and some general layout here. Beautiful mausoleum. I wanted so bad to be able to get in here it was only open for like two or three hours a day. I, I walked up to it and uh, yeah, I just couldn't get in. It's only open for like two or three hours a day and it wasn't in the hours that, that I was there, but buried inside here, uh, a tie to Detroit in this area, Josephine Hoffa, which is the wife of union leader Jimmy Hoffa, whose body still has never been found. One of the, um, the great mysteries in the United States uh, history Whatever happened to him, I don't know, and I'm not even going to speculate, but I do know that her remains are in a mausoleum. I believe she was cremated and has a niche in there. But Josephine Hoffa, I really wish I could have got in there to show you a little more. Another automotive icon, Lee Iacocca. And Lee Iacocca, I mean, it's just, again, this is probably going to be another long-form video because his accomplishments are just too great to name here, but he did 
probably known best in the Ford world uh, as developing the Mustang. You know, that car is still on the road today, very popular. And then after his uh, time with Ford, he helped revitalize uh, the Chrysler brand. So Lee Iacocca, another Michigan icon, and just a big name you hear about in Michigan still. You know, even down here in Kentucky, I, I'd heard of Lee Iacocca, and that was a name that I was familiar with. We're still at his grave, and you can see the, um, the background. And whenever we do these cemetery tours, I like to, you know, look around and show you all what is here and what it looks like. And, you know, just focus on the whole cemetery. I mean, we do focus on the famous graves, and, you know, on this particular video, that's what I was here for, was famous graves. But I'd like to give you a little bit of an idea, a little bit of an idea of what we're looking at and, and where we are. Now, right here, I wanted to record this beautiful memorial, Korean Veterans Memorial. And even though my grandfather did not actually serve in the war theater, he is a Korean War veteran because he served during the Korean War, was actually drafted during the Korean War. So uh, anytime I see anything about Korea and, you know, a lot of times, and it is known as the America's Forgotten War. Not sure why, it may have been where, you know, Vietnam was not too far after that, but uh, I really was thankful to be able to pay my respects and visit this Korean Veterans Memorial uh, pretty well. I mean, it was pretty well in the center of the cemetery, so glad to be able to do that. And thought about my grandfather when I was here and uh, his service, and just like many other people out there as well. Here's one that you probably haven't heard of, Brace Beamer. Brace Beamer was a radio legend, and he was the voice, one of the voices, of the Lone Ranger. So if you were listening to the Lone Ranger on radio, there is a chance that you got to hear Mr. Brace Beamer's voice uh, providing that, that for us. So just one of his accomplishments. He was very accomplished in his, uh, you know, his profession, but what he's known for, the voice of the Lone Ranger. And while I was here, I definitely wanted to visit the grave of uh, John DeLorean. Uh, John DeLorean, I believe, worked for General Motors at one time, but he's known for developing, developing the DeLorean car. And you can just see such an iconic car. It made so even more iconic by the Back to the Future movies. Uh, you know, he drove a DeLorean in the Back to the Future movies, and I think it is so fitting that that car and, and its unique way of opening up the doors is actually on his stone. So wanted to make sure we visited the grave of John DeLorean. And you'll see here another just beautiful, just beautiful area. I love the mausoleum. Oh, I so wish I could have got in there, but the fountain in front, uh, very beautiful. And you know, there for this cemetery, there was, you know, a few notable graves. I'm sure there's some that I didn't get, but I am glad to be able to be here uh, in this cemetery today with you. And I do want to thank you all for joining me today. My channel is 100% cemetery related, so every video I do, I'm gonna be in a cemetery. So uh, if you haven't subscribed, please join me. I would love to have you. And we have a nice little community. I'm gonna leave links in the description where you can find me. Facebook, Instagram, merchandise, whatever you want, you can definitely find me. I would love to have you. And once again, from Troy, Michigan, I will see you again soon.